Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a phone call today with the Vice President of the UAE, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Majesty expressed his condolences on the passing of his brother, Deputy Ruler of Dubai and Minister of Finance, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace and to grant his family solace and fortitude. His Majesty prays the virtues of the late His Highness, his role and his good contributions to the renaissance and development of the UAE. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid expressed his appreciation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty, wishing him abundant health. The Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, participated as a guest of honor in the celebration organized by the Pakistani Army on the occasion of Pakistan Day, celebrated annually on the 23rd of March. The ceremony took place with the participation of the President of Pakistan, a number of senior military leaders of the Pakistani Army, and a large audience of Pakistanis and residents, and a number of invitees from friendly countries. His Highness congratulated the President of Pakistan, Araf Alawi, and the friendly people of Pakistan on the occasion. He expressed admiration of the military parade presented by the Pakistani army, lauding their readiness, efficiency and skills in executing the parades. He also hailed the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Pakistan, commending the role of Pakistan in maintaining regional and international security and underscoring the advanced levels of bilateral cooperation. The National Guard also participated in the parades. The Minister of Interior, His Highness General Sheikh Rasha bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, headed the Bahraini delegation to the 38th meeting of the Council of Arab Interior Ministers, which was held virtually and was chaired by the Saudi Interior Minister and Honorary President of the Council, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Saeed bin Naif Al Saud. His Highness said that Arab security requires ongoing cooperation among Arab states in light of the pandemic and the increasing number of challenges. He said that the Ministry of Interior remains to be a key part of Bahrain's success story in tackling the pandemic including the application of the law and the necessary precautionary measures. Thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King and the national efforts led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for the security and safety of all. He added that the pandemic underlines the need for cooperation and exchange of expertise and affirmed the importance of safeguarding cybersecurity through the use of artificial intelligence. The Ministry of Housing announced the extension of the citizen's application val validity for Mazaya program for an additional period of six months. This initiative aims to facilitate the purchase of housing units for citizens. The Ministry will grant new age exemption application a period not exceeding six months to complete their procedures with an emphasis on applying the standards for accepting the purchase of completed housing units only. The Bahrain International Circuit is set to hold one of the first entertainment events of the Gulf Air Formula One Grand Prix 2021, which the Kingdom hosts annually. The entertainment events are set to take place while observing strict health precautionary measures to ensure the safety of all. On a related note, the BIC announced that it will use renewable energy starting from next year. The Testing and Meteorology Directorate in the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism held an inspection campaign in the Bahrain local market, during which more than 1,200 different electric hair styling devices have been seized and confiscated, which were in violation of the requirements of the Gulf technical regulations. This step comes in line with the Ministry's keenness to ensure the safety of all individuals using these appliances. It is noted that all appliances must comply with Gulf technical regulations for LV household electrical appliances by Ministerial Order No. 71 of 2015, issued by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. To speak more about this matter, we are joined by Senior Standards Specialist at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Mr. Abdullah Al-Ghanim. Hello, Mr. Abdullah. Tell us about the role Hello. of Testing and Metrology Directorate in holding inspections for such appliances. Um, testing and Metrology Directorate is the national standard, standardization body in Bahrain. Uh, we work uh, with different entities and uh, on issuing technical regulation and conformity assessment procedure um, to monitor imported product, uh, product through the customs borders and uh, traded products in the local market uh, in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Um, we monitor approximately 13 categories of uh, electrical products, uh, such as uh, washing machine, um, refrigerators, oven, 
including hairdressers, uh, electrical projects. Uh, through the year, we conduct uh, the various inspection campaign in the local market, uh, targeting uh, those products and ensuring that those products are safe to use. Uh, Mr. Abdullah, how do you determine the compliance of such appliances? Um, great question. We ensure products are complied and safe by setting a set of uh, requirements uh, for the importers and traders. Uh, for instance, we require the, the traders and, and uh, for the for the traders, we require them to uh, Gulf Conformity Tracking System code. Uh, we call it uh, GCTS certificate and uh, GMARC uh, labeling, which must be printed on the package of the product. When the product has both requirements, uh, the GCTS certificate and the GMARC labeling. It means that this product has been tested by accredited lab. And what are the potential dangers of such products that are in the Gulf tracking system? Uh, when non-compliant uh, electrical product is used, there would be some potential risks. Uh, for example, the product plug may not contain the airthing system that uh, the product uh, the, that can protect the user from electrical shocks. Um, in addition, non-compliant product can produce invisible wave of energy, which can uh, cause side effects to the brain and to the body. And non-compliant products uh, can potentially explode and damage the hair. Uh, therefore, we would like to send a message to all the citizens and residents of the Kingdom of Bahrain to choose electrical products that carry uh, Gulf Conformity Tracking Code and the GMARC labeling. And if any electrical product that do not follow the requirements, we request the citizens and residents to call uh, testing and metrology directorate to report uh, those violating uh, product in order for us to take the necessary action. Thank you. Senior Standard Specialist at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Mr. Abdullah Al-Ghanem, thank you for joining us. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 452,551 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 242,128 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 7,378 with 552 recoveries, 733 registered new cases and one death. 256 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 454 are contacts of active cases and 23 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.